the Smooth Man, and today I will be reviewing <coughs> Straight Outta Compton. So, this film is fantastic. It's about the origin story of NWA and how NWA, NWA became what it was and what it is. And how they overcame so many obstacles because the, the style of music that they had back when they released their tracks, the world, I don't think the world was ready for, but... Their messages and their songs were, they deserve to be heard, and they showcase that perfectly throughout the film, with perfect settings, great performances from the entire cast, um, oh, amazing, amazing music. So, I'll break it down. So, with the music. Uh, a lot of the tracks, and a lot of the music, and even the band in general, this generation has not even heard of. So... What better way to introduce or reintroduce the band than captivate than like put it into a motion picture, which was great because I got to find out more about each single member of the group. I got to find I got to hear their their music and just find out why they wanted to put together this group and what messages they put in their songs. So I, it was an educate educational experience of finding out more about this group that I did not know much about. So it was very full of information, and I liked that. Um, instead of it being hollow or just being a music film, they actually gave you lots of information about the group. I also liked the performances. Each single character had their turn in the film to express them, to be able to have enough screen time for each single character and actor, and for that actor to be able to work to express their performance and character on screen perfectly with enough screen time for each. And I think the standout performances were from the person who played Ice Cube and the person who plays Easy. E. Why those two in particular is because not just because of like just the character just like the characters names, but because of their performances. Um so the person who played Ice Cube is Ice Cube's son. And Ice Cube's son, and Ice Cube actually trained his son to play this part for about a year or two years, he said. And he didn't just give it to him, he made him work for it. And what better actor to play Ice Cube than his son? That's a really accurate and really real betrayal. Instead of just being someone who's like Channing Tatum. It's an actual, someone who's related to Ice Cube, and he looks like Ice Cube as well, so that works well. The person who played Easy e he was, cause, because a lot of the members we already know, Dr. Dre, Ice Cube, Easy e we don't really know, and his perform he tells us a lot about who he is, and within that, there is a character arc and journey we go along with Easy. e more than the other members in particular because we really see his journey and we go on it with him and the, and how he portrays that in his performance is excellent. I thought he deserves way more recognition for his performance as easy than he got. He was a great supporting character and role. Also the directing. His depiction, his, his vision of how the world looked, the world looked at that time and how he put every single bit of detail, every aspect into it, made you feel like you were there. That was the time. And if it was a great landscape for the film. I also liked um, like the music. I said that earlier, but I'll say it again. So the, f the music, a lot of people haven't heard. And so instead of them just injecting the original tunes that they recorded back way back when they didn't do that which I found really interesting and creative they got the actors to redo all of their tracks for the film so they re-recorded the tracks for the film which I thought was really creative and cool um and I also liked um the pacing of the film, it wasn't too long, it was just at the right time, so like, it went just at the right amount, so you 
so they broke it down so you can understand what's, what was going on. You can enjoy it and you didn't feel like it was getting rushed or it was going too fast just to uh, uh, get to the ending. But it was at the right amount. So overall, this film is fantastic. It's great cast, great tunes, and great plot, and it really educates you about NWA. So I give this film 9.0 shiny stars. I highly recommend you see this film. That is my review on Straight Outta Compton. Please don't forget to subscribe below. Leave your comments in the comment section. I'd love to hear your opinion on opinion on the film. What do you think about it? Did you like it? Did you not like it? If you like, if you knew about NWA, was it accurate? Uh, please leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. Until I see you again, this is Movie Man, signing off.